We are probably one of the last generations of Homo sapiens, because in the coming generations, we will learn how to engineer bodies and brains and minds. Yuval Noah Harari. You may not be familiar with this name, but you must hear about the book he writes, *Sapiens: A Brief History of Humankind*. Once published in 2014, it has become an international hit. Even former President Obama recommended it. Put aside his presidency, he gets a really great taste of books. In this book, Yuval talks about one question: seventeen thousand years ago. There were at least six different human species on Earth, but today there is only one left, us, and we rule this planet. Why? From his bold and completely fresh perspective, he takes us on a breathtaking ride through our entire human history, from its evolutionary roots to the age of capitalism and genetic engineering, to uncover why we are the way we are. And many of his opinions are quite refreshing and compelling. Like this one, he believes our society is built on humans' ability of imagination and collective trust. A human can say, "Look, there is a god above the clouds, and if you don't do what I tell you to do, after you die, God will punish you and send you to hell." And if you all believe these stories that I've invented, then you will follow the same norms and laws and values, and you can cooperate. This is something only humans can do. You can never convince a chimpanzee to give you a banana by promising him that after you die, you'll go to chimpanzee heaven. But do you still remember what he said in the beginning? We are probably one of the last generations of Homo sapiens. Apparently, Yuval isn't satisfied by only looking back. He takes a further step with his wider and bolder ideas into the next book, Homo Deus: A Brief History of Tomorrow. The big question. Is what kind of gods we will be? Will we be merciful and wise gods, or will we be、uh, petty, vengeful, and irresponsible gods? <laughs>